Hunger Games, Catching Fire. Catching Fire. Part two of four, of three. What do you consider it? There's three books before movies. Three books, four movies, so three and a half. Part two of three and a half. That's, that's what makes the most sense to me. This book, I think, was my favorite book. Yeah, this was my favorite book. This movie uh, is my least favorite movie. Um, I don't know if it's my least favorite movie because yeah, I need to watch true. the next two again because I don't really, I've only seen them all once. I think the next I, one, the Mockingjay one is worse, but, um, yeah, maybe because I need, it, to, I need to watch it again. Yeah. Remembering back, Mockingjay one is really slow and it's all building up to all the action that happens in the second one. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but this one is definitely worse than the first Hunger Games movie. Oh, for sure. And it's not, and I, and it's weird because after watching it again, I still, I can't pinpoint what it is that I didn't really like. I don't know, and I, and I can't pinpoint what it is that was so different from the books that made me not like it as much. Well, so, I don't know. So I was thinking about it. I think part of the problem with this one, once the game starts, is Katniss would definitely be dead. If people weren't trying to keep her alive, she was so reluctant to survive throughout this whole movie that she's just very frustrating. Yeah, she's she definitely just got really lucky in the first one. Oh, yeah. But in this one, if everyone was trying to kill her, she would 100 percent be dead. Mm hmm. She had she had no fighting chance throughout this whole no. movie. She never tried. She never did anything. She just got drug along, and people protected her. Yeah, she. It's maybe because she she didn't really see herself getting out, anyways. Well, the movie um, the movie plays it for uh, puts it forward that her whole goal is to keep Peta alive. Because he's the yes. best of us type right. of thing. And it was, it just didn't really make a lot of sense as a motivation. Like, I get that you want to keep him alive. The best way you're going to do that is win, or at least not win, but get second place. Do everything yeah. you can to get second place. Then kill yourself. Right? Like, that's the, that should be your strategy if your goal is to keep him alive. And she was just yeah. like, I can't just let him win. Just take me now. Is basically her <laughs> attitude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like she does not seem like she's putting any effort into surviving. Yeah. Um, yeah, she, yeah, you're right. She is pretty frustrating. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's at this point, it's, uh, Jeez, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, so this movie, it picks up right where, well, I guess not right where the set, first one left off. Uh, it's a year uh, later. Yeah. Essentially. There, it's Pretty like, much. I think it picks up about a month before the first one started. So, or, uh, yes. 11 months from where the first one started. And yep. so they're getting ready to go on this big tour to go through all the districts. As unlike Which, the, the, a parade. That is, that is crazy to me. Yeah. But it makes sense. If the, uh, what? if the goal is to basically keep everyone subdued. Yeah. Keep everyone's spirits down. You're going to no, come I, and I, parade the murder of your children in front of them. The murder of their children in front of them. Like, yeah. not only do you have to see the person who killed your son, your daughter, but you have to hold them up as this and, important person. And celebrate them. And yeah. celebrate them. Uh, no one seemed to have any problem with Katniss or PETA, for that matter, throughout all that. And right. uh, it kind of gets back to what we were saying in the last episode about this. She didn't have to get her hands dirty at all because someone else did it for her. The yeah. only time... That she kind of did was with Cato, 
And the movie doesn't even do that very well. So, well, she, so she killed the girl with the tracker jackers. Yeah, but that, even that's like. She killed Dennis Quaid's son with the bow. So I know it was self defense. The tracker jacker thing, uh, I would say is not, would not be getting her hands dirty because she just got lucky that that worked out. She got stung. She slept for three days. Like she almost died as well. It was just like a right. desperation thing. She did kill the one guy who threw a spear at her face two seconds before. So it was like yes. reactionary. But right. say, no, I'm not, I'm say, not saying, say Katniss yeah, and okay. Rue get to the end and she just chokes Strangled this her. little girl, you know, on national TV. People would not be up for celebrating her, using her as a, a figure of the right. revolution. So it was kind of a convenient thing well, that she didn't have to really brutally murder anyone. She was, she was surviving, but somehow she won. Like it just doesn't quite add up. Right, but do you, I, and I know on this tour they didn't show us all the districts, but do you think she was that well received in the, the districts that do celebrate the Hunger Games and, and had all those like career tributes? Do you think they still cared about her? I mean, to them, she's probably weak, right? She didn't want to kill anybody and their tributes died playing the games. Yeah, Do you no, think she was as I, celebrated? I they think, should have showed something like that. Yeah, the movies don't really uh, go into that much at all. Because uh, Districts 1 and 2 is where they mm-hmm. get. So those districts are the closest to the capital. Those are the ones that train their entire lives until they get to the Hunger Games. The books say the reaping. The reaping? Is that what it's called? Yep. Uh, the reaping can take hours because when one person is selected, someone else tributes for them, and then someone else tributes for them, and it just goes back and forth until finally pretty much everyone has tried, and there's yeah. only two people left. Like, everyone is, like, trying so hard to get into the Hunger Games. So I would imagine those areas would have been the least receptive, but they don't show those areas at all. Right. Which, I mean, it's it's... It's not a huge deal, but I would be interested to see how they actually felt about her winning. Yeah, because they really only show District 8 and District uh, 12 uh, and 11, 11, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is 11 months since the first one. They're going on this big tour, and they're getting ready for the 75th Hunger Games, which means the- it's a quarter quell. Yes. Conveniently. <laughs> Conveniently. Like, what, what do you think would have happened if this was the, if she would have won the 73rd Hunger Games? Um, then they would have fast forwarded a year and a half or whatever to make it. I don't know. They would have. You mean they, what would like the capital do? No, what would the story have been? Um. Like, would there be a Hunger Games in between the quarter quell where they select from the winners? Mm, Cause like, no, well, I don't know. That, I think that would have been interesting to see. So like, you have Hunger Games 1, Katniss goes in, Hunger Games 2, she has to mentor someone else. Ah, uh, okay, I gotcha. And in Hunger Games 3, she gets selected to go back in as a, as a reaping of the winners. And then the last one would be the uprising, the fighting back. So, yeah, okay. So that means, how, so would we be watching, what, so we'd maybe be watching the, the, the second one from her point of view, from the outside? Yeah, mostly. I mean, you'd go in, go back and forth, mostly be from her point of view, and that person would die. 
Ah, uh, okay. They well, would, yeah. yeah, they would not be yeah. able to survive. And because she probably would not even be a good mentor at all. Yeah, no, she'd be terrible. And she'd also be with Haymitch, who's also terrible. Yeah. Like, I, I just, um, like, wouldn't that have been more interesting? Like, I think the books are better where it's just her. That makes more sense. But for these movies, I think it would have been cool to have her as a mentor to space it out. Cause like, I, it always kind of bothered me that it went from like the 75th being a special event. Yeah. You know, like it was just like, Oh, that's lucky for the capital that that worked out. Had it been the 73rd and she had a year, like it would have just made more. It wouldn't have felt so contrived to get her back into it. Well, wouldn't it have been even more if they had just made the the 74th? Assuming she was in the 73rd, they just said, oh, for this one, we're doing this, like, because we can, not because it's even a special event. I would have preferred that don't over forget the quarter quell. We have the power. Yeah, I would have preferred that over the quarter quell idea. Well, here's the thing, and... and so it, I don't know. I, I like that it was a special event and uh-huh. supposedly been in the, you know, in, in the books for like 75 years. Yeah. That, that way they can hopefully, you know, they can achieve what they're, they're hoping to get, which is her dead, but not to be a martyr, right? Yeah. Cause if they, if they forced her, if the capital came out and said, we're going to make her do this again, she would be that whether she won or lost. But if it was just a special event, then everyone would just be on board for another Hunger Games. And oh man, she died this time. What a bummer! No, I it, I, it, I agree. It makes sense what they did. It just it felt very convenient that it worked out that way. Yeah, yeah, it's not that concerning. <laughs> but that leads me to. Well, I guess we'll continue talking about the movie. No, go ahead. Well, it leads you to what? So, well, I'll, I'll I'll get you there. So basically, the whole concept behind this third quarter quell is that they're going to pull everyone is from the pool of past victors, which I feel like there was a, quite a bit. Like I feel like there would be some districts that don't have any or don't have at least one male and female. Yeah, wasn't that wasn't it that way in the book? I uh I don't I don't know if it was or not. I feel like they had the full amount of people in the book, but it just seems like unlikely. Unlikely that yeah. that one that there would be even one male and female victor from each district and that two that they'd even still be alive. Yeah, well so okay, to break down the math of all that, it's mm-hmm. 12 districts, two people per, right? Male and female. 24 yeah. people. The 74th is the only one with two winners. So they have to go back 23 years at yeah. least to find exactly. enough people. So not only do they have to go back 23 years, but if there's any districts that won more than once, well, or if that, they yeah, had that's what I was gonna say. two boys probably win, gonna... Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to go back even further, where District 12 has three winners total, mm-hmm. and Hamish was in the 25th, right? The the 50th. The 50th. Yeah. So from 25 years, District 12 has three already, and should have only really had two. Should have only had two. Yeah. So that's, but that that takes away two years. Like, yeah, the math doesn't really Plus, work out that every district would have one of each. Yeah, and it's more than likely that District 1 and 2 probably fill up a third of the remaining victors that are still alive. Oh, like, for sure. Probably more than that. They're just going to have them. So it, it just seems highly unlikely. Yeah, no, that's a good point. And, and it almost seemed like... District 12 is the only one that only had one of a specific gender. Like, she was the only girl, so she was automatic. But it seemed like 
that was like a, a story and it wasn't talked about for any of the other districts. Like they all had at least two to choose from. Yeah. Yeah. So they're going back 50 plus years to oh, get enough least, people. Yeah. And a lot of the people were under 20 or under 30 for sure. Yeah, which which is like, well, that makes sense because they're more likely to still be alive and be eligible to be in it. But it doesn't really make sense because if they're under 30, that gives you 18-year window. Hmm. And so that's considering you winning at 12. Which, which is, no one has done. Yeah, so... Let's say the youngest winner is 16. No, 14. It's, it's 14. Okay. Yeah, they, so, Cause they talk about Finnick being the youngest at 14 to ever win. Okay. So that's 16 year window. And most of these people are under 30. Most of them seem like they're like 21. Yeah. It just none of the math works. Well, I mean, they could be any variety of ages. They don't really talk about it. They, anywhere between. They could be playing a character from 20 to 30. But that's what I'm saying. My point is, if we're going to nitpick on the math, for them to have to go back 50 years to get enough people to fill out the Hunger Games, right? and most of the people are under 30, how does that line up? When that's If they're under 30 and they're only going back about 12 to 15 years to get those people... But you had to go back 50 years? You see what I'm saying? I see what you think you're saying. <laughs> How am I wrong? No, you're right. It's just... There should look, be... It's a movie. <laughs> Deal with it. Because <laughs> there's the one old woman. Right. The majority of the people should have been like that. Or at least middle-aged. Yeah. It should be a cascading... Because it's every year you have a winner. So every year... Each each year, each... Well, okay, think of it like this. When you say the majority of people look like they're young, you're saying that's the majority of people that we actually see, right? But there's 24 people. Half of those people we never even really see. They could have been any variety of ages. Yeah, but most... It's focusing on the younger people because, I don't know, they stand the best chance, I guess, and they contribute more to the story but there's probably a good handful that were you know older i don't know yeah i mean i guess there's the old woman then there's the guy from westworld and his partner yeah and they're probably in their 40s 50s right yeah i don't know it just seems like there's too many young people for it to really (sighs) work out that's what i've been saying about this earth forever (laughs) (laughs) uh did I ask you what do you think is a better? I think I might have asked you on the last episode, but what do you think is more effective, Hunger Games or The Purge? More effective? Yeah. Effective, for, like for what? As a, a way to control, uh, as a governmental plan. Uh, oh, you definitely have to say the Hunger Games. They just they just let it slip away. They yeah. should have just killed her. That's the problem. Yeah, why didn't they just make the train crash? It, well, yeah, exactly. She should have died on the way back. Yeah. Or they should have just let her eat the berries. Um, but speak, speaking that, of the purge, that, sorry. Okay, I wanted, let's go. Did you see the trailer for the latest purge? Uh, I have not. It looks like the worst of all of them. Ah, uh, really? Yep, I was so disappointed. It's very yeah. political. Oh, just for a while. Well, we kind of knew it might have the tones. But that. it's worse than the third one. Really? It, it looks like it, yeah. Hmm. I don't know about this. <laughs> but anyways, back to the Hunger Games I'll watch. So that leads me to my biggest gripe, right, with this. And it's not just the movie. It's because it's the same in the book. And I, and I'm sure that there's good reasons why I'm wrong, but I feel like it would have been a much more 
compelling story if Haymitch had to go back in instead of PETA. Yeah. No, I agree with that. And PETA like, should have uh, gotten it, captured. So Haymitch and Katniss are in the Hunger Games. They escape, and then PETA gets kidnapped. Why is yeah, that the capital? Yeah, just kidnapped while yeah while they're gone. It I don't well, know like, like even reading it I I when I read that they were gonna pull from the you know past winners I I was like that's what's gonna happen that makes a good story like yeah. no one I don't want to see Peta and and Katniss. Katniss again like the very next year yeah like let it be let it show Hamish go back right and then also we can see Peta trying to do. The behind the scenes stuff that Hamish had to do for them, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. but but he doesn't know anyone and he doesn't have the relationships and it's nobody cares about him. Yeah, no, I agree. I think that would have been a better movie. It would have made more sense for Peter being kidnapped at the end of it. Yeah, because the way he got kidnapped in this one was weird. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, they I just, still don't know if I fully understand how that even really worked. They pretty much just leave him. They. So the end of this movie, they set up this big contraption for the lightning to hit the tree, and then it blows everything up and breaks the force field down. Then a helico- helicraft? Hel- helicopter. Helicopter. Uh, shows up and airlifts some of them out. But Peter was with her, right? He was protecting her at that spot. Then they took off. It just... Yeah. I don't, I don't really get... How that worked out. I don't know. But, yeah, it, I was so bummed when it wasn't Hey Mitch. I was like, oh, that would have been so much better. I mean, I don't I don't know. Inside the actual Hunger Games, what would have really been different. But, I don't know. Well, I, it, 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 would have, it just sort of switched things up a little bit. It would have been, like... It it definitely would have been a better movie because then you would have had so much more conflict between Katniss and Haymitch. Haymitch like just ordering Katniss around and Katniss like being allowed to murder him, <laughs> you know, like having yeah, yeah. every reason to kill him, but like having to contemplate not doing it and him like, you need to get your stuff together and like, let get going. Like we got to figure this out and her just being like, I will kill you right now. Type out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And then, uh, maybe we could have seen some cool Hamish fight scenes. I don't know. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see his. I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. I definitely thought there would be Hamish's Hunger Games book come out. Right? Yeah. Some kind of prequel. Yeah. Because that one is supposed to be top notch. Um, that would be cool. I, I, I do agree. Cause that's the one that's got 48 people instead of the 24. Oh, that's right. And it supposedly is just like, was the most brutal Hunger Games. Yeah. How have they not made that movie or that book? I don't know. Because it sounds cool, right? But if they actually write it out, there's a potential for it to not be as cool as we thought. I think the Hunger right Games. Now, I think the uh-huh. Hunger Games leads to the ability to be an interesting. Like it's an interesting concept, and it almost fills itself out. No, I agree. But yeah, I don't know. It's. I'd love to see it. I think it'd be cool. But tis not to be. More than likely. I bet it'll happen. You think so? Yeah. I know that there's actually, I stumbled upon, this was years ago, there's like a fan-made mini movie about that particular Hunger Games. And that's, it's, the the story is kind of whatever, but it actually is like well shot. Oh, yeah? That there was, the people who showed it to me were like convinced that that was like a trailer for like the movie that they were doing. And I had to tell him, like, this is, this is just fan made. Like, it looks cool, but they're not making this movie. And it's, <laughs> they're not going to just, like, surprise people with a movie. It's not just like, and here it is. We made it. But, I don't know. It, it looked pretty decent. That was, uh, 
That was after the second movie came out. Someone had done that, but they put they put some time into it. The second like, uh, after the second Hunger Games movie before the the Mockingjay Mocking Jay came out. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, that would have been a much better story. But like I said, it was not to be. Yeah. Do we get to see Peter? Throw any bags of flour in this one? Does he use his superpowers? I don't. I don't know. That's a bummer. You know, it'd be funny, right? So, (laughs) what he did in his like demonstration, in his weapon demonstration. So, so Katniss did the whole thing with for uh, Seneca Crane, right? You know what I'm talking about? The when she shoots the arrow? Wait, no, no, no. In, when she hung the dummy and put oh, yeah, Seneca's yeah. name on it, yeah. Peter did the same thing. He just wrote Seneca Crane on a bag of flour and just threw it across the room. <laughs> it's like, I'm out. Well, doesn't he like, wow. paint Rue or something like that on the floor? I couldn't figure out who did that. Did he do that? Yeah, he he definitely Was did it to that. make her mad? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if, if he did that or if like, the capital did that as a reminder, like, hey, we killed that little girl, that was your friend. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was PETA. Well, like, I wasn't, yeah. I, I, I didn't remember if that was in the books or not, so I couldn't really tell who done it. Yeah, I don't think it was in the books. Like, they're, all their standing up against the capital was kind of strange. Because, like, yeah. all the advice to Katniss was, just keep Snow happy. He's not going to murder you. Yeah. But then they're like, everyone's like... Actively spitting in his face almost. Yeah. The only one who made sense was... uh What's her name? Jenna... Jenna Maroney? No. Jenna Maroney. Malone. Uh, Malone? Yeah. Um, uh, Joanna Mason. Yeah. When she was like, he can't hurt me. There's no one left that I care about. Yeah. And like that, that makes a ton of sense. Like why she would be so against him, but no one else seemed to make sense. And like, uh, something that was in the books that they didn't put in the movie at all, which I don't really blame them. But Finnick was telling the story about how he was basically a prostitute for the capital. Oh yeah, that's what I forgot like, about that. That's like a whole subplot that's just completely left out of the movies, which again makes sense. But it was like a, a part of the the victors were sold as mm-hmm. escorts. Escorts, sex slaves, essentially. And they couldn't do anything about it their whole lives. Even though they won, even though they survived, their yeah. fate is almost worse for surviving. Yeah, I forgot about that. Mm. It's, um, yeah, so yeah, they didn't talk about that too much. Um, and I gotta say, not enough Gale in the second one. Oh yeah, very little Gale. He gets whipped uh, up. He does get a, a a pretty bad whooping. And uh, that's about it. They put snow on him, and you never see him again. I mean, I guess you um, see him a little bit. We'll but. see. We're just at the very end, right? But that's that's it. Yeah. Hmm. They should have just made Gale go in the Hunger Games. Just his own Hunger Games. Just him by himself. <laughs> just don't ever give him any food. Yeah. He just lives in the jungle now. <laughs> um. Yeah, and so, so the. Yeah, but- that everyone's there, everyone's trying... Like, half the people are working together in The Hunger Games with the goal yes. of saving Katniss. Yeah, they've already decided that they're not going to make it out alive, and they're fine with that. They just need to make sure that she gets out. Yeah, which I don't like. I don't nope. like that part of the story, no. I think... I get it. I get that she's like this model for... The revolution, or like a, not yeah. a model, but a, not mascot, if, but <laughs> she is the mascot. <laughs> She's you know like the figurehead of the revolution. With her, right. they're able to unite everyone. 
Right. I, I don't buy it. No. I don't see what was so special about her, especially in the second one. If that was true coming out of the first one, it should have been completely erased by the way she was in the second one. Yeah. Um, yeah, she was kind of weak and uh, not someone I want to spearhead my campaign. <laughs> yeah. No, she doesn't seem like the the mascot you want to be representing you. Yeah. So. And because, like, the whole point was, like, she stood up to the Capitol. She, she you know, fought back and was defiant and survived. But everyone else also stood up to the Capitol during the second Hunger Games. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're like, this is a bad idea. We don't want to do this. Like, this is not okay, guys. And none of them were important. Nope. Yeah, it's kind of insulting to them because they were cooler than her anyways. But, uh, I don't know. What did you think? What did you think of the arena in this one? I love the arena in this one. I thought in the book, yeah. it was such a cool idea to have mm-hmm. it as you have 12. So in, it's 12 quadrants. Quadrants? Yeah. Is that right? No, well, I think quadrants is four. Four. <laughs> 12 <laughs> pizza slices. So you on have the big pizza. <laughs> uh, <laughs> four quadrants. Three quadrants. Yep. I'm not mad. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have 12 sections <laughs> yeah. that every hour, one of the sections is attacking whoever's in that section and then it moves. Yeah. So it's a time is a clock and it's it goes clock. around and around. And I, I thought that was such an interesting idea. And you, the closer you get to the center, the safer you are, but the closer you are to other people who are trying to kill you. Yeah. So like, so this one compared to the other one from the first one was like, oh wow, this is way better. Yeah, because the other one is essentially just the jungle, the, the jungle, and you're worried about the people. This one, you have to be worried about the jungle, and then also the people trying to kill you. Yeah, because there's um, yeah. So what what were the quadrants? The quadrants. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> So there was the the electricity storm. There's like the flood. There's the blood rain. There's the poison fog. There's the baboons. Um, let's see. There's the oh, what was the the birds? The 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 birds one. The talking the jabber jays. Jabber jays. Yeah. What do you think um, of the the names they give? creatures and uh, they're pretty stupid yeah i actually i think mockingjay sounds fine but jabberjay sounds dumb yeah well mockingjay is a real thing isn't it no i'm pretty sure that came a mockingjay is like a breed of a mockingbird and a jabberjay oh is that what it is okay i if i remember correctly um so that's six of them well i don't think they go through we, all of them no, I don't think so. Yeah, so you're right. It is a, it's a good concept. They, they should have just stayed. Once they figured it out, gotten somewhat close to the beach, close enough to where the distance between the, the sections isn't very far. Yeah. And they could just, you know, stay one hour opposite behind. of it. Well, not even that. They could be on the complete other side of it, right? Because they can yeah. see it moving, and then just always be six hours ahead. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it, well, until they spin everything around, so that well, that's that's just the center, though, right? So just don't go to the center. I'm saying stay on the actual beach, where you can see that 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 little ring goes around the whole thing. So you can essentially stay on the beach, don't not even have to worry about running through the trees or anything like that, and just constantly be moving. So when they spin everything, I think it changes the time and what each zone is. Yeah. So, well, I don't know, though. Could they? Because they shown that in the electrical storm, right, they have that big tree that was like the conductor. Mm-hmm. So they couldn't really change that unless they had something like that in all the other sections. Yeah, that's true. That would still have to be the lightning. Yeah. 
Um, and then I think I think it was just to throw them off, so they had to refigure out where was what. But yeah. I guess just look for that tree. So I don't know. Yeah, it, it definitely but, seems like you could have gamed it, right? You could have figured it out and right gotten around. They might have. They might have switched them all up. I don't know. I, I feel like they, they put did. them out of order. Because Philip Seymour Hoffman said something like, "Well, let's see how they tell same. time now." Yeah. Which led me to yeah. believe that they mix things up. Because it's all digital. Yeah, it's all artificial. So it seems like it would be fairly simple. Uh, I really like F- Philip Seymour Hoffman in this. I think his character oh, yeah, great. was really interesting. And the way he was able to come off as the bad guy, but once mm-hmm. you know that he's doing it just to trick Snow into yeah. saving Katniss, like the layers of his character. So like the first watch through, you're like, oh, he's clearly a bad guy. Second watch through, you're like, oh, wow, he's he's manipulating everything to save her, mm-hmm. which was pretty cool. Yeah, and this is actually one of his last movies. I don't know if it's his final one. Well, is that not? He's in the next one in the third. Well, but I, I remember they... They had to use past footage for him because he didn't really film anything. That was something along those lines. Mockingjay Part Two. Okay, so that's right. Yeah. Fine. Um. So basically, they they figure it out. Their plan is to hook up to the big conductor tree, string some wire all the way to the the, the section where the water is, hoping that that's roughly where the career tributes are going to be and then just zap them all at once that's what Katniss then, thinks the plan is well yeah sorry that's what that's what her understanding of the plan is because that is what uh Beatty is his name yeah that's what he did in his hunger games and he killed like six people at once because he's a madman <laughs> and so that's her understanding but what 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 was their actual plan? So their plan was to connect the electricity to the force field and short out the force field. Okay. And then she ends up doing that anyways, un- unknowingly or yeah. unbeknownst to her that that was the actual plan. But she, I don't know, she's still gets zapped or something right it's still kind of yeah <laughs> i don't it it's i was it a little was weird. confused by yeah. it and that's what that's the thing the ending of this it was a big mess it's like they i feel like they were spinning too many plates and they just kind yeah. of let them all fall down right at the end right at the end so um yeah so most i would say i would say the careers in this one are more active than in the first one yes like like they're always like right there you know doing you know trying to trying to kill them or they're they're always pretty close by yeah um and they're better one thing that's what i oh, well, yeah. what, what i thought was interesting about the premise is everyone who was in it had won and the majority yeah. of them did not do it by accident. Right. Yeah, they were actively trying to kill people. Do you think they're better because they're just like adults and they're, you know, cuz you can be a career tribute, right? But like in the end you're still that's still a a kid. These are like adults. Like do you think they continue anything after Hunger Games? Like if you're from 1 and 2 where you're celebrated, like do you think what do you do after the Hunger Games? You probably end up training other people. Yeah. So they're probably still pretty active and they they probably still get better and better, so yeah. they're more of a threat. That one dude, that dude was uh I want to say his name was Br- Brutus. I don't know if they even <laughs> actually call him out in the movie. Yeah. The 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 bald guy? Uh-huh. I would be most scared of that guy. <laughs> Or maybe the fangs girl who's going to rip out my throat. <laughs> yeah, she filed her teeth down into sharp points to be able to bite people's throat out. Which is bonkers. Yeah. Um, 
Kind of going back to my point about how it would have been interesting if Haymitch was in it. Mm-hmm. Katniss's relationship with Finnick the whole time of her mm-hmm. not trusting him and like, yeah, contemplating killing him. Like, think about how much more interesting it would have been if that would have been Haymitch. Take Finnick out, that whole partnership and that whole like bickering back and forth. Replace yeah. him with Haymitch. It would have been way more interesting, I think. Yeah, but it wouldn't be, but they want you to think, they, they don't want you to trust Finnick, right? They want you to be on the same page as her, where it's like, okay, he's, he's doing these nice things, but like, what's his end game? Is he planning on, you know, does he want to win and kill them? Or is he like really a good person? Like, we don't know that, right? And she doesn't know that either, but we know Haymitch, so it wouldn't be, if, if he did these same things, we would, more than likely know that it's a show or it's, you know, like he's not gonna, yeah, unless like he, he wants her to win too. Unless he's putting forward the idea of like, I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to survive. I don't care about killing Katniss. And then to her, he's like, we gotta work together. And then to the TV, to the audience, he's like, I, I have no bond with her. Like I yeah. met her, you know what I mean? Like, so where she was like, had a relationship with him, trusted him, but now is like feeling threatened by him, but also still has to trust him. Yeah. Yeah, like he's he's playing that part too well and she actually doesn't know if yeah. she should trust him anymore. Mm-hmm. I gotcha. Yeah, that would have been good. Because uh, yeah, I guess maybe if it was her and Haymitch and let's say even Finnick is still the same person. Yeah. He don't you think he probably would have tipped her off? Like, hey, don't kill this guy. We need these people. Like, well, I mean, that's plan. what you that's know, what Peta did. But, but did Peta know? Yeah, Peta knew, but no one told her because they didn't. They they well, the idea was why. <sighs> it's dumb. It's part of the problem. They said Snow was watching you too closely. If you weren't acting authentic. He would have known something was up. Yeah. They would have been the same with every other winner. You think so? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Every winner has the potential to be defiant to the, to the government, to be a revolutionary, uh, figurehead. Yeah. You know, like any, any defiance towards snow, any defiance towards the government or the Hunger Games. Would have been identical to what Katniss did, right? And they yeah, were already sure they all would have been watched. Yeah, they would have already been beloved for winning their game. Like her, her being put on this pedestal of like, oh, she had this romantic relationship, and she's the most recent winner, so she, everyone loves her the most. Like, I get it to an extent, but I will not. I can't accept. How far they're trying to take that. Yeah, it can only go so far. Yeah. And like, I, I think I, I sound like really negative about this movie. I actually <laughs> enjoy it. I like it. I like the book. The movie's decent. No, there's, I enjoy the movie. Yeah. There's just a lot of things that I feel like. Some oh, had they, opportunities. Yeah. Had they changed it, it could have been exceptional. I agree. I, I don't, I, don't, I don't know why movie studios don't contact me first and like let me get a a run through a run a a pass through before they, they start doing it they can't afford you <sighs> that's true they're like we'd love to get this guy's input but that is <laughs> going to blow the budget <laughs> so yeah so basically they 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 rig up their contraption what exactly happens to Beatty, does he get shocked? I don't remember. I, I feel He's like, like she, so, she comes across him laying on the laying on the ground, like in pain. Yeah, I think I that was it. the idea. Something. I, it does. Ah, oh, man, the end is so confusing because there's like it's just chaos. Yeah, and there's not a clear story or recap of what happened. Yep. No, yeah, they just kind of expect you to know everything that happened. Yeah. Or just be okay not knowing what happened. They're like, right. chaos, and now here we are. 
And, uh, it's, it's just very, it's kind of a frustrating way to tell a story where you, yeah, like <clears throat> one of the reasons why Breaking Bad is such a great show is because they were always willing to write their characters into impossible situations and figure out a logical way out of them. Yeah. They never like a practical way. Yeah. They never treated you like an idiot. Like, Oh, don't worry about it. Like here's a yeah, cliffhanger. Like you just have to accept that something crazy happens. Yeah. Like it's like, no, that could really happen. Like, like, yeah, no, like the walking dead is really bad about it. Mm-hmm. They leave you on this huge cliffhanger. Then they come back after six months. Then they spend two episodes not focused on right. what happened in the cliffhanger. They're like, don't worry. That's all taken care of. We'll explain it later. Then, you know, by the third or fourth then, episode, you don't care yeah. as much. And yeah, then they give you it. this lame reasoning out of whatever happened. Breaking Bad never did anything like that. Every cliffhanger was met. Like your stress level of that cliffhanger was mm-hmm. met with a, a practical, with a reasonable solution. Right. You know, and you're like, Oh wow. Like that, that was satisfying. Like I didn't think there was a way out of this yet. Here's a way that worked and it makes sense. But all, and, but, uh, and uh, another thing, another thing about that is they kind of wrapped up each cliffhanger uh, besides the, like, season long ones, it per episode, right? And yeah. It was never left you hanging. Like, th- three of my favorite endings, you know, episode endings in Breaking Bad. All take place pretty close to each other. The first one with me and Hank and the cousins in the parking lot. Yeah. I don't know. Even now, when I I've probably watched that that specific scene twenty times, maybe fifteen. I don't know. <laughs> it still maybe keeps 17. me. Yeah, it could be. It's probably not seventeen. That's come on. <laughs> it keeps me on edge. Like I'm still like nervous. Like like as if I don't know what's gonna happen. So he you know? sh- he shoots him right. He like he gets shot and kills one of them. Is that how it goes down? Uh, well, he, he, he smashes one of them in his vehicle between another vehicle. Yeah. And then he ends up, yeah, he gets shot and then he's laying on the ground. The other one's coming with his big O axe and then he's able to grab a, cause he's out of ammo, but he has a bullet that was dropped by one of the other cousins. Yeah. And is able to fumble around and stick it into his gun, uh, fast enough and then shoot the guy in the head. Yeah. Yeah. But then it's like, it's, that's it, you know, the tension's done, end of the episode. Yeah. The other one, yeah. <sighs> so, like, like I was saying, the, the reason I even brought Breaking Bad up is they get, they like paint themselves into a corner and then they have to work really hard to get out of it. Yeah. You know, like they're not, they're not afraid of like, okay, this would be so interesting if this happened. Let's do that. Now let's figure out a way to get out of it that makes sense. That's yeah. not the end of the Hunger Games. They're like, no. you know, it'd be really cool if everyone's working together and they all escape. <laughs> okay. Well, how are we going to do that? I don't know. Let's just blow things up. Yeah. You know what much. I mean? Like, is, what? That's, how does that make sense? Where is the Hunger we, Games held at? How is there not yeah, guards we, surrounding it? How is there not military? How did you sneak a helicraft into it? How did you not get blown out of the sky? Like how many, there's like so many questions of how did you make this work? And none of them are answered. They're just like, don't worry about it. We got half of you. Some of you didn't make it. <laughs> Why is that the case? Why didn't some of them make it? Why was it easy to get some, but not all? Like they were all together. They were all around each other. Like what? Yeah, it's. It's implausible. Yeah. But that's what, that's but, what, that's why I think yeah. if, <clears throat> if PETA was the mentor role, everyone who was supposed to escape escapes, but PETA is in the capital. He can't. Yeah. He clearly. And they just grab him. Yeah, yeah. He, like, as soon as the, the revolution starts or the, they blow things up and escape, he's like, uh, Guys, <laughs> you know, and then they put a bag over his head and take him away. Right. Yeah. Ugh, so much better. Let's yeah. make our own. Yeah. Let's do. Let's, <laughs> let's redo it. 
I want you to play all the parts. I will. That's fine. I was already planning on doing that. <laughs> but uh overall, what's your opinion? Hunger Games 2. Overall, I do like it. Um, Like I said, I, there's just something that I can't put my finger on that makes me like the book the best uh-huh. and this not as much. I, I, I don't know what – it's been so long that since I read it. I don't yeah. know what it was missing that I was like, oh, I wish they did this or that besides the whole Hamish thing. But that's in the book too. Well, so I don't know. Katniss in the books is a way better mm-hmm. character than Katniss in the movies. And part of well, it, yeah, part of it is because you're, she's not Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. Well, I don't like. I don't really have a problem with Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, I think she I does have a, f- a fine job, but I, I think the issue is in the books, you're in her head the entire time. Yeah. Like anytime she's thinking, like you're in the movies, you're having to just read her expressions of how she feels about a person or what she's thinking. Yeah. And that's really difficult. It is. To like get beyond, oh, she's hungry, she's happy, she's sad, she's hurt, she's scared. Like beyond those things, really hard to follow. Where in the books, she's like, all right, well, if I kiss PETA, then maybe people will send me food. But like, I don't really want to kiss, you know what I mean? Like she's like processing There's lots stuff. lots of conflict. Yeah. yeah. And she's, she's, uh, like kind of an evil person in her head, willing to, manipulate and you know she like only cares about surviving in the book yeah she's like i'll do whatever it takes like i'm i'm going to survive and she's much stronger of a character and uh i don't remember exactly if that was it's definitely that way in the first book and i feel like it's much more along those lines in the second one as well no it is because if i remember it's like she all the things that she's doing with Peta, she you know it's for show and she knows mm-hmm. it but she also knows at the same time that it's Peta says that it's also for show but she can tell that it's not for him and she uses that to make it look even more real yeah because everything that's happening like to him that that essentially is real that's really how he feels and this and that and she i think it bothers her but she knows that she has to do that to survive. Yeah, essentially. So you're, you're right. It, it does make a better character. Yeah. Well, I, I agree. I think the book is better. I think the movie's fine. Could have been better. Um, Could have been. But I mean, if you enjoy the first one, you'll enjoy the second one. And, yeah. Uh, it's, 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 it's very enjoyable. I mean, I think all the characters are pretty enjoyable. Um, like I think Phoenix, a cool character, all the, I mean, all the, the, the victors that we see, I think they're all, Good characters. Um, that's uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so the end. We'll we'll be back in a couple of days uh, with our review of The Wall, which is a war movie that has John Cena and Aaron Taylor Johnson, and not Matt Damon. Not Matt Damon. He's not in this one. That's that's the Great Wall. This is a bad wall. <laughs> Uh, if you want to hear that review right now, you can go over to Patreon for a dollar. You can vote for Taylor or I and get access to all our episodes two weeks in advance. So our, rev- our review of the wall is already up over there, or you can get it in a couple of days, just like normal. Nice. But you can follow us on Twitter at I seen that pod and like us on Facebook. Woohoo!